it's been about two days since I've had my start surgery. Well, actually yesterday I had my start surgery and I had to be at the hospital for eight o'clock in the morning and my start surgery was at 10.25 and I got out of surgery at 11.25. And then I was in recovery for roughly two hours until my partner came and um, was able to come and see me. Um, so surgery went well. My oral surgeon said it couldn't have went any better. Um, now the healing process is usually what is the hardest thing to um, go through after surgery or any kind of surgery. It's always the healing process. Um, I wanted to just kind of touch base on a couple things of um, what you can do to prepare yourself for the SRP surgery. Number one is just mentally prepare yourself um, for the pain as any the emotional pain too as it is very it this is not something easy um to go through it's definitely draining but um i just think it's always better to mentally prepare yourself before this i was preparing myself for this months in advance i'm um, back in april pretty much since <laughs> since i saw my oral surgeon oral surgeon um so after surgery, I was a little bit um, so confused as to what was going on, um, just because of all the drugs and everything. And I didn't, I wasn't able to see what my face looked like. All I could feel, I went like this on my top lip, and I was going like that, and my lip just felt so big, and I was like, oh my goodness, I look like, oh, I don't even want to know what I look like, and. Anyway, she, the nurse went to go grab me my stuff, and she grabbed me my bag, and I grabbed my phone, and I looked at my face, and thank goodness it wasn't as bad as what it, it seemed like it was. Um, I wasn't really swollen, too, either at that point. Like, I was swollen, but it wasn't, like, hysterically swollen, you know? Um, but I didn't have all the bruising that I do today, so. But, uh, anyways... Yesterday it was quite rough. Um, we came home around four, maybe three thirty ish, and I was in a lot of discomfort. It just felt, and it still feels so tight up here, like so tight around here. I can feel my whole entire face. The only place that I that still has numbing is my top jaw area there, where they had to slice it open. Um, um, yeah, that's the only place that has numbing right now. Um, but for pain-wise, I feel okay. I'm not in a whole lot of pain. Just discomfort, because it just, you know, it doesn't feel normal, right? And um, I don't know if I want the numbing to go away, because I'm a little worried that the pain is going to be very unmanageable. But I have my doctor prescribed me. Um, to take T3s, Tylenol T3s, and I have about 30 tablets of those, and um, it says take one to two tablets every four to six hours, but so far I've only taken four of them. Well, I took one yesterday, and then I took one this morning, afternoon, and then at night. I'm just trying to build some, well my boyfriend said build it up in your system because once it wears off, I'm going to be in a lot of pain, and he just doesn't want that, and neither do I. Um, and then hopefully after I'm done all this, I can just switch to, like, Motrin or something, and hopefully that will be good enough. But if not, I, I will return and see my doctor, and I just, no one does well with pain, right? And then also I have to take one capsule three times daily until finish, and moxicillin, and this is antibiotics so I don't get any infections but I've also taken probiotic this stuff and it's got um, 10 billion active cells um, for complete intestinal intestinal and digestive health um, 
take one capsule daily with a meal to ensure maximum potency stain fashion is refrigerated after I'm going to keep it to children. Um, hopefully these aren't so big for me to swallow. I don't, I haven't tried one yet. Um, there are six couples. This was pretty expensive too. This was like 26 bucks, he said. But I'm going to take some of that tonight too. Um, for food wise, I've just been on a liquid diet pretty much. I had like soup today. Um, I had broccoli and cheddar soup that was pureed. And then I had coconut and lentil soup that was pureed. And it was so yummy. <laughs> And I also had um, ice cream for dessert. Um, he went and got me Dairy Queen banana, banana. Oh, what was it? Banana, not banana split. Pie. Banana cream pie, and it was so good. But there were some chunks in it, so I just had to leave the chunkiness, like cookies or something, and I just couldn't eat that. And then what else did I have? Oh, I've been drinking a lot of Boost drinks. Oh, boost drinks. And this one is just the regular nutritious energy but he also as you can see we have a little stash here yeah we have a stash and um so i had two of those today um i had the mocha one and then i had the just the regular just the regular vanilla one and they're actually so tasty the mocha one was so good and what else oh um, then he also got me because my when you're after surgery your skin ends up being so dry and it's just so uncomfortable that um you just I don't know it just it just doesn't feel good you know you know when you have dry skin it just does not feel good so he got me this um Vichy cream and it's um 48 hour hydration for sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin, so I don't know why he got me that. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I still used it. And right now it's very moisturizing on my skin and it feels great. <laughs> um, and it smells really good too, but this was expensive as well, like 30 bucks. I told him to get me a good moisturizer. I didn't tell him to get me an expensive one. <laughs> I love you. That's okay. Um, I'll use it anyways. Anyways, um, but I guess, you know, the good moisturizers are usually the more expensive ones, right? So, yeah, you get what you pay for. And then, also, because my lips were so dry, and it's um, Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm. And it's actually amazing. It It is very hydra hydrant and moisturizing, so I recommend it. And I don't know, $4 or 5 bucks, so that's not not too too expensive but um it's definitely good to keep your skin all moisturized and your lips moisturized just to make you feel a lot comfortable i had a shower earlier today and i just feel i feel a lot better but um yeah i don't want to be blabbing on a whole lot anymore here i'm gonna let you guys go um thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to keep posting more with my whole jaws recovery and of course more surgeries to come and the whole healing process and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask them and I'll be happy to um, reply back to you guys and yeah I think that's pretty much it but anyways I hope you guys have a good night or a good morning wherever you guys are and uh, I'll talk to you soon